Jim, a large police presence out there in Kensington tonight. That happened at Clearfield and Water Street in Kensington. It all went down around 6.30 tonight. We do have some video from the scene we want to go to right now. I can tell you that Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, she was out there, so that shows you the urgency of what was going on. Here's what we know so far. Like I said, it all went down around 6.30 tonight. We're told that undercover officers were out there. They were working some sort of drug detail. That's when they noticed a large fight, a large crowd out there. They hopped out of their undercover vehicle. Police telling us it was so bad that at some point some of the people in the crowd were bumping up against that car. They got out. They tried to break up the fight. That's when police say the two officers saw a man with a gun. Then they say that man started shooting into the crowd, fired at least two shots in the crowd, one in the air. Those two officers, according to police, fired back. They fired six shots, hitting the guy in the shoulder, also in the stomach. He was then scooped up, rushed to the hospital. He was in critical condition, but we just learned that man has died. Here's what a neighbor told us about the scene. We got a lot of kids right here. We can't play. They can't play outside. They can't do nothing. It's bad outside, a lot of shooting, a lot of bad things. We want this to stop. We want this to the police to do something. You can hear the frustration right there in that neighborhood. I can tell you, as of protocol, both of those officers are now on administrative leave. Also, another interesting note, right before we were sent to that shooting, we were actually at an emergency meeting at a high school in North Philadelphia. Parents and families telling us they are scared to send their kids back to school, back to class in the fall because of all of these shootings. We need parents to be willing to participate if there's things happening on Facebook, I don't care how good we are, we won't know. Inside Dobbins Career and Technical Education High School, an honest conversation about student safety. Young people are safest when their needs are met. Families have reached out to the school's administrators saying they're scared to send their kids to class because of the city's gun violence epidemic. Some say they would choose virtual learning again instead. That led to an emergency meeting tonight. Principal Shravon Thompson doesn't want moms and dads to choose online. It won't be like, oh, you check in with a teacher, a Dobbins teacher, or you still have cosmetology or graphic design. It would be none of that. Students come from all over the city to go to this North Philly High School, and it's the travel that concerns families. School leaders tell NBC 10 officers will be assigned to Dobbins for dismissal. The safety plan also includes following the SEPTA charter bus schedule and stopping students from hanging out at the corner. It calls on teens to give up their weapons to an amnesty box and urges them to not leave school early. Do you worry about your granddaughter when she's just out and about? No, I worry about my entire family. It's not always the neighborhood around the school stresses police. They say they're tracking which SEPTA bus and train stops and other large transit hubs could be an issue for student safety. Our young people need to have a school where they can come to, feel safe, and know that when they come in, they're going to learn, and when they leave, they'll go out to serve. The principal tells me that she will continue to work with police, also work with the school community to ensure they have the best safety plan. She knows she wants her kids in class and not at home. For now, we're live outside of police headquarters, Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.